Hi gang, this is nitinol wire, a form of shape memory alloy. The neat thing is that I can stretch it out like this, and when I heat it up, it returns back to its original program shape. I'll show you how I program it, and do a force test. First, a simple one, to show you how I program the shape. I first make a jig by drawing the desired shape on a block of wood, an R for Rimstar Org. I push nails in all the corners of the drawing. Then I bend the nitinol wire around the nails to hold the wire in place until an R-shaped wire is firmly held in place by the nails. I heat it above 500 Celsius or 930 Fahrenheit by putting it in a candle flame until the wires glowed red hot. Then I cool it in cool water. I then remove it from the jig. The R-shape is now programmed in. I straighten out the wire, and to make it go back to its program shape, I have to raise it above its transition temperature. To do that, I run it quickly through this flame. And there's the letter R back again. But be careful doing it this way. If you leave it in too long, like I'm doing here, then it reprograms it for whatever shape it happens to be in at the time. This time, instead of using a flame to test it, I'll use electrical current to produce the heat. Here I'm making a spring by winding the nitinol wire around the clothes hanger wire, with some added copper pieces to hold the ends in place. My test setup is my homemade DC power supply, along with a potentiometer or variable resistor, and a meter to measure the current. The potentiometer is there to provide whatever resistance is needed to keep the current low. I put the spring in the circuit and stretch it out. I turn on the power supply and the wire heats up. You can see it's strong enough to pull the alligator clips along the table. It seems that running it just under one amp of current is enough to heat it to above the transition temperature. Of course I want to measure the pulling force during transition. So I hang a spring balance from a pole and hang the nitinol wire stretched out from there. I make electrical contact with the top of the nitinol wire using a very lightweight, flexible wire instead of an alligator clip. The other end is taped to the table. When I apply the electrical current, the nitinol tries to go to its programmed spring shape, pulling down on the spring balance. The balance acts as if there's a 27 gram mass hanging from it. But mass isn't force. Luckily I'm at the Earth's surface, and I cleverly arranged for the wire to be pulling downward. That allows me to multiply that 27 grams by 0 0.0098 newtons per gram, to get 0.26 newtons of pulling force. To help put that into perspective, that's the same force applied by hanging this 27 grams of salt. Well, thanks for watching! See my YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, for more fun videos like this. That includes one about how to move things using sound, Another about whether it's the current or the voltage it kills you when you get a shock. And one on how to generate electricity using a Peltier module. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. Or give a thumbs up or leave a question or comment below. See you soon.